So Tommy, big FA Cup weekend for us this weekend. How, how are your thoughts ahead of that one? Um, we're obviously trying to treat it as the next, just the next normal game, um, albeit in a different competition. But uh, the remit was to try and get into the, the FA Cup first round proper, which we managed. We don't want that to be the end of the run. So um, obviously we give the greatest respects to Swindon Town Football Club and, and we looked, we've treated them exactly as we have every game so far this season. You know, we've had them looked at, we've seen what they're very good at and there's, there's a lot of that and what we feel we might be able to expose. Um, so, like I said, it's been a really good training week um, after, after a disappointing result last weekend. Um, but that was at the end of a very decent run in, in general. So the mood of the camp hasn't changed particularly, I don't think. Um, and we look like a little bit healthier in terms of our numbers than we had available last weekend too. Obviously in the last round against Lewis, it was us tiptoeing over a potential banana skin, but we've got the opportunity to be, you know, the banana skin for Swindon this weekend, haven't we? Is we're going into it, I guess, as the underdog. Does that help us? Well, it's, it, you hit the nail on the head. I'll just, I'll just use that an analogy with the lads in the team meeting. You know, we, the, the coin's been flipped, really. We had nothing to win other than a passage through to the next round when we, when we had Lewis at home. Swindon will have the same, you know, pressure, if you like, whatever word you want to use it. But it's up to us to use that to our advantage. I'm aware that there are a lot, a lot of shots fans travelling down the M4 to, to support us. But I, I believe if the lads give their everything, that they'll be, they'll be applauded off the pitch. Well, either way so from that point of view the lads haven't got a great deal to lose but we're not going there to make the numbers up we're going there to give them a proper game um, I genuinely believe both teams have got a very similar DNA in the way that the both squads are made, made up their, their age their career paths of the young lads and both sets of players are probably owning first team shares for the first time at first team level in, in their careers so I'm expecting a really good game I think it'll be a good football match um, uh, and we're looking forward to it simple as that you look at League Two and, and the top teams in that division are now Stockport County, Wrexham, Notts County that, you know, two seasons ago were all playing in the National League. Mm. Is, is, it, is it a bit of a smaller gap in quality, do you think, these, these days? Well, I think there's, there's a lot more teams playing in the National League these days that, if promoted or when promoted, won't be looking back and, and dropping back into the National League, where if you look through League Two... Um, there are there are many teams that are hanging in there and they're, they're surviving rather than thriving. Um, Swindon are at the, at the better end of the table, I believe, in terms of their infrastructure and their plan. Um, but but ultimately, there isn't a massive gap. I think you know the, the the discussion at least needs to be had now about the three up, three down. For the fact that you just said the top three teams at this moment in time are all sitting in the national league within eighteen months of, what, of, of this conversation. So there isn't as big a gap as everybody thinks it is. It, it really annoys me when it's described as non-league or as, as semi-pro. It's nothing like that. There's, there are very little, if any, teams now in the national league. Whatever anybody tells you, that don't train more than your average. You know, grassroots level. So it, it is a professional football league, and we treat it that way. And, and I hope, hopefully, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll give a good account of the league by, by our performance at Swindon. Something to emphasise that point is obviously we'll have 1,200 travelling fans backing us in a sellout yeah. allocation. And, you know, we, we really want to send them home with a, with a win, don't we? Yeah, I mean, listen, them sort of numbers are excellent. You know, to take it 1,200 plus, I've, I've, I've yeah. read. Um, and they'll be going down there and they'll want to win. You know, they've, they've got used to us winning games this season, which is really good habit to get into, as a, not just as a side and a manager and a coach and stuff, but as a, as a club. We're, all, we're, we're in it together. We want them behind us every step of the way. So we'll be giving our all and I'm sure that they'll, uh, they'll make themselves heard even if they, are, if they are outnumbered. It won't be as, as much as probably most games I've been doing in, in, in the FA Cup situation, certainly. We'll, we'll definitely be holding our own in the crowd stakes. And Tommy, obviously, you've put pen to paper to extend your deal, haven't you? Yeah, it's been really positive since I come here, and I think the club and I see the same thing. Um, and hopefully, it's good news for the fans because they they've got on board with what the project is that we're trying to do here. Yeah, we've definitely changed the style of football. I think the approach to the games is very different as a group. You know, we go in there thinking about ourselves first and. The opposition second, but we do obviously give them a lot of respect. But I've just felt um, when when I was offered the opportunity to to sit down with the chairman, um, he was very very positive himself. He reminded me of what was happening before I came to the club, and numbers in all areas are going up, which is really good. 
Um, so it's just a bit of a fillet for for us as a staff. You know, we're all we're all in it together. It's not just about me. It's about my staff, my support staff, the people who I don't see on a daily basis who support me from afar. You know, like your Matts and your and the chairman Terry, all of them guys. But the people who are the life and soul of the party, which is the supporters of any football club, are right behind me. I, it, it, you know, I, it, I'll never get sick of people tapping me on the back and saying how well we're doing. But it, I really on, honestly believe it's only a start. And uh, it's, a, it's a longer term thing to be done, yeah. Well, that's it, isn't it? Obviously, this summer we had a bit of upheaval, a new squad come in, but it started so well and it, it's all about creating that positive atmosphere and, and making that thrive onwards, isn't it? Yeah, and I, listen, I use all sorts of analogies when I speak to you, but the, the biggest one is that we're all rowing in the same direction and that's from the football operation through the football club and onto the terraces. And that, as long as that continues to go on, which I'm sure it will, we all want the same thing at the end of the day. We want to be successful on a Saturday or a Tuesday night and we want the club to progress. Ultimately, we all want to go to a higher level whether that's this season, next season or whenever. But the infrastructure of the club, I believe, is is great, really good. And it's it's given me a platform to do what I wanted to do up till now. And hopefully going forward, we, we carry on in much the same vein. And that feel-good factor that has been seen on the terraces at the EBB Stadium, is that obviously spreading throughout the team and throughout the staff? Well, I think so. I mean, players obviously love adulation. They don't like kicks up the backside. And so far, the fans have no need to, to, to be other, anything other than supportive for the home game, certainly. But even when we've gone away from home and haven't performed quite as well, the support and the, people, the numbers we carry, the distances we travel, you know, it's, it's commendable. And it just tells me that this club has been waiting for quite a period now to have a, a decent run, uh, you know, in the league first and foremost. But the cup run this weekend's, you know, also a, a nice addition for us. But it's, it's just as far as we're concerned, an extension to our normal week. All right, I've got it in.